Yeah, hello, uh, welcome to my new video. Uh, today video's topic is a very important topic in uh, data privacy world that is called a uh, data pseudonymization and the data anonymization techniques what is being used to protect the personal data. Uh, this data pseudonymization techniques are required, uh, this is the mandatory requirement by some of the personal data protection regulations like GDPR. Today we'll be discussing this pseudonymization and anonymization technique in detail. Uh, this ha this is being uh, heavily emphasized in the GDPR also. Uh, it is asked by the organization to implement privacy by design practices within the organizations and all. So there are two terms which is being used a lot when discussing the privacy by design and the data minim minim minimization techniques that is called as anonymization and the pseudonymizations. Now we are going to see how does anonymization and pseudonymization work, what does this means and how these two techniques are different. Now first we will going to discuss about data pseudonymization techniques. Uh, most of you must have seen this Batman movie. In the Batman movie this Bruce Wayne was the character who is known as by the name of Batman. Similar to Bruce Wayne and the Batman, pseudonymization also works in the IT environment which mask your data, which mask your personal data. When talking about the definitions which has been dis defined in the GDPR, the GDPR defines pseudonymization as the processing of personal data in such a way that the data can no longer be attributed to a specific data subject without the use of additional information. Personal data is thus exchanged with no identifying data and addition and additional information is needed to recreate the original data. Further, the additional information should be kept separately. It is very clearly defined in the GDPR about the pseudonymization. What does this pseudonymization mean? The moment you are trying to share the personal information from one organization to another organization or whether you are sharing information from uh, uh, one person to another person or suppose you are sharing information from organization A, organization A, organization A to organization B, the data should be pseudonymized. This is the basic requirement which has been listed down in the GDPR. Article 4, Article 4 and Article and the recital 26, 28 and 29 talks about the requirement of pseudonymizations of the data. Pseudonymizing personal data can reduce the risk to the data subject and help you to meet your data protection obligations. So basically, this reduces the risk to the data subject because the data would not be transferred in a plain text from one uh, person to another person or from one organization to another organization and all. Now we are going to see how this pseudonymization techniques work. Uh, suppose this is the original data. Uh, the name of one person, name of the person is John. The surname is Smith and this is the telephone number and this is the age age of Smith. Now this original data is being captured by the organizations. Now the moment we'll use the pseudonymization techniques, the, uh, you can see here the, uh, with the help of association table, like the name of person is John. The name of person would be transferred after pseudonymization as this AA1F. This could be anything. This basically depends upon the algorithm, what kinds of algorithm we have used. So you have seen it, you are also seeing the surname also will be transferred like this. Telephone number is also totally changed and age would be there. But through age, you cannot identify 
John because this is totally the data which we have captured like name is John the data would be saved in this format in the database and this this format would be also we are using this format to transfer the data and all now we do have this sedomanized data the sedomanized data we do have name AA1F surname AC4FB and the telephone number this now no one can able to identify a whose personal data we have collected or whose personal data we are processing so this is basically examples related to the sedomanization of the personal data uh, we can there are various solutions available uh, that we called it as a sedomanization techniques that could be used uh, uh, like uh, first technique is your counter technique another would be your random number third is the hash function uh, encryption techniques more commonly techniques are being used uh, across the organizations uh, this is uh, everyone is well known about this uh, encryption techniques and all so we can use this these basic uh, security techniques to sedomanize the data now another thing is anonymization of the data now we have seen data sedomanization now we are going to see what actually the anonymized data is anonymized data refer to data that is made anonymous in such a way that the register can no longer be identified the registered person can no longer be identified that refers as the anonymization uh, you simply remove the pos possibility of identifying a person and no additional information can restore the original information so basically uh, in the anonymization technique we are trying to remove the identifier which can identify a persons basically there are uh, certain identifiers which we are capturing at the time of uh, collecting the personal information like the name contact number of the persons address social security numbers pan card aadhar card date of birth photographic image and all so, so much information we are capturing within the organization now let's see how this anonymization techniques works like uh, suppose you have captured a patient informations the personal data which you have captured these are the information which we have captured the the moment the data would be anonymized you see here we have captured name we have captured date of birth email id also being captured and the medical data medical history is being captured that is considered as the sensitive data now these are the information we are cap we are capturing the moment the data would be anonymized all the personal identifier would be removed like you you can see here this is the anonymized data after the processing now we do have only sex we do have uh, age of the person and the medical data now you can see here this data is been masked and anonymized and we are not able to identify uh, there could be number of female in the age category there could be lots of patient in the medical data there could be uh, numbers of patients who are suffering from this migraine related issue now you can see here ident personal identifier is totally been removed the name and date of birth has been removed now this is called as the anonymized data gdpr doesn't talk about uh, this uh, general data protection regulation doesn't talk about personal data Oh, sorry that doesn't talk about anonymized data gdpr talks about the uh, personal data but uh, gdpr doesn't talk about the anonymized data gdpr focuses upon the data sedomanizations and all recital 26 explain that the principle of data protection should therefore not apply to anonymous anonymous information namely information which does not relate to the identified or identifiable nature person or to the personal rendered anonymous in such a manner that the data subject is not no longer identified 
this means uh, that the personal data ha has been anonymized is not the subject to the GDPR. GDPR doesn't talk about uh, this anonymized data and all. They are only focusing upon the data pseudonymization techniques. This is the full spectrum of data privacy. Like the moment we have captured the personal information, uh, those who, uh, who want to understand about the personal data, what is the personal data, what are, what are the various regulations to protect the personal data, I have uploaded various videos about the PI, uh, personally identifiable information. You can go through my videos. I will also provide the link uh, in this video itself. Now, uh, this personal data, data would be uh, de-identified including the pseudonymized data or anonymization technique we can use and we do have a truly anonymized data that data would be without the identifier now let's see what is the basic difference between uh, pseudonymization and anonymization techniques the key difference between pseudonymization and anonymization techniques are like you can see here here we have captured the personal data name and all those things in the data pseudonymization the name uh, date of birth email id and all those information would be fully changed name would be there but the name would be converted into some different formats and all in the anonymized data the name uh, or you can say uh, name would be would not be captured or you can say it would be removed age of the person would be uh, like exact age would not be captured it would be a range of 37 to 50 or 20 to 25 so that no one will able to identify so this is the basic difference uh, between anonymization and pseudonymization techniques in the anonymization all the identified would be there but with a different uh, uh, you can say different algorithm, algorithm are being used uh, same data would not be there in the database or same data would not be you, uh, travel from one organization to another organization but in the anonymization data all the personal identifier would be removed so this is the basic difference between data pseudonymization and data anonymization techniques now we are going to see usage of anonymization and pseudonymization the data which has been irreversibly anonymized as e to be personal data and processing of such data doesn't require compliance with the data protection law in principle this means that the organization could use it for the purpose beyond those for which it was originally obtained and that it could be kept indefinitely in some cases it is not possible to effectively anonymize data either because of the nature or the context of the data or because of the use of which data is collected and written even these circumstances and organization might want to use anonymization and pseudonymization technique now as a part of privacy by design strategy a strategy to provide improved protection of the data subject we need to use this data anonymization and pseudonymization technique part of risk mitigate mit mitigation strategy within the organization this technique should be used to avoid inadvertent data breaches as a part of data minimization strategy so these are the four uh, objectives behind using the personal uh, this anonymization and pseudonymization techniques Now we are going to see GDPR obligations for the pseudonymization and anonymization data. Like first obligation of GDPR is provide the notice to the data subject. It is required. This is not required anonymization. You can see here uh, the anonymization techniques doesn't require anywhere within the GDPR obligations. But uh, pseudonymization techniques are required, are somewhere partially required in the G G uh, GDPR obligations. Like uh, data security, parsley, 
in the same way data retention if you are retaining the data and all for some time this is also you know pseudonymization is required for vendor sub processor management process it is required then pseudonymization we can say it is a integral part of uh, gdpr implementation process or uh, the process to comply with the gdpr but anonymization is not required anywhere so that's all uh, from my today's video uh, hope uh, it will clear your doubt related to the data anonymization and pseudonymization principles thank you